Hey guys, I am Foxtrot Delta, and welcome back to some more Star Trek Legacy. And today I have uh, a Miranda class, a Saladin class, and two Hermes class ships, all from uh, the new Star Trek Legacy XI mod, which the link to it is in the description. And uh, just so you know. And um, so I'm gonna engage here, and you'll see we are at Tiburon. We don't usually do this map, but I feel like it's a nice map to sneak around in. And we're battling two Romulan fleets. Uh, we had 10,000 command points. We were in the original series era, and uh, we have five respawns, and the AI is all on medium. So I don't know what ships the Romulans are going to choose, but who knows? They might choose the new Birds of Prey. And whoa, this map is perfect for these ships. They look so much cooler. But yeah, you can see Saladin class, Hermes class. Saladin class, Hermes class. You can see the uh, torpedo launchers here. Gone. Here. Gone. Okay. Anyway, enough comparing those things. Uh, let's do one of... Standing by. One, one, one of these. Warping to your coordinates. Enemy vessel detected. Oh. Looks like his shields are pretty much down already. There we go. That's how we deal with the Romulans. Next target would be... Not anywhere in sight. So, let's just go to random places. Also, I don't know if you can hear it, but it is raining right now where I am, so... If you guys hear rain, I apologize, but that's how nature works. Alright, let's take out this Stormbird again if we can. Shields are low on what? My shields are at half. I don't know what you're talking about. Okay, so I think all their ships are in this nebula just sneaking around. Which I don't like because they're really hard to target. Come on. See, I've lost target again, even though I can still see him. There we go, we're emerging from the nebula now. Let's use one of our Hermes class ships. So, this is the Hermes class, it does not have any torpedoes on it, it's just phasers. I don't even know if it has underside phasers, does it? Yeah, it does. Okay, so, yeah, alright. I uh, don't. Let's just use our salad and let's see how many underside phasers does this one have? Is it just those three, or are those extra boxes more phasers? I don't know. It's so hard to tell. Okay, see, so yeah, I just has the three sets of phasers underneath, and a torpedo launcher, which will come in handy, and a rear torpedo launcher. Maybe. All right, let's turn around. Eh, one of those locked down, that's good enough for me. Switch to our... Whoa! Um, you're slightly upside down. There we go. Nope, nope there we go. Okay. <clears throat> those might not reach it in time. Okay, I knew that. Oh, it looks so cool. Okay, shields are down on the Stormbird, targeting with torpedoes. There we nope. Okay, I, I knew I wasn't going to be able to fire. I was just messing with you guys. Okay, now let's fire. There we go. Okay, it worked that time. Beautiful kill. Next target is the Vengeance class. So it seems they're using all Stormbirds and Vengeance class ships. So... I've only come across, I think that it's like one fleet though, I'm pretty sure the other fleet's still out there somewhere. Yeah, I'm just seeing the regular blue guys, not like the green blue guys. Maybe I have seen them, I don't know, I don't pay attention, I probably should. Yeah, come on. There we go, we got him. Whoa. 
think that was a Starfleet shuttlecraft right there. I'll have to use that in my next video. I'll show you guys what it does. It's very interesting to fly. Oh, the rain's picking up. Jeez. Okay. So many Federation starships converging on this guy. And boom. There we go. Firing the phasers. Which again, look amazing. I know I've said that in every single video, but I'm not going to stop because they look amazing. Their shields are down. I thought my torpedo would uh, resupply, reload, whatever the, rec the correct uh, word is. There we are, okay. Ah, there's the greenish blue guys. There they be. That be them. Ouch. Okay, let's turn around and get a torpedo lock if we can. Warp drive damage, you've lost a nacelle. No. That's okay, you know, I'm not even going to bother to repair it because, I mean, you can't repair it past half. Does the warp drive still work, though, is the question. Probably just takes a long... No, actually, I can't warp drive at all. Let's, let's try to fix this, then. I still have that scanning sound going on. Don't know if that's going to stop or what. Where is the enemy? Ah, there they are. Right there. So let's target that with our one warp engine. Yep, still works. Not perfectly, but I mean, it, it, it works. Whoa, you're doing the weird... Oh, okay. I can fly it like that. Just did a weird barrel roll type thing. Oh, we just lost one of our Hermes class ships. Oh boy. Who needs two warp engines? One's enough for me. That's the thing I like about this game, is, is that the warp engines can uh, just completely come off. Kind of wish that would happen in, like, Star Trek Online. I kind of wish, like, parts of the, of the ship could just, like, detach themselves. Like, the warp, one of the warp engines could become damaged to the point it breaks off into space. And then, like, you have to get it repaired or something like that. I think that'd be kind of cool. Okie dokie, my weapons are not doing weapon things. They're... Oh, it's because I'm trying to repair my engine still. Duh. But I can't because one of them's missing. Actually, let's turn. And then torpedoes. Please, before their shields go up, before their shields go up, before their shields go up, before their shields go up. Okay. Eh. Next target is you. Okay, let's divert power to the weapons. Diverting power to weapons, Captain. Awaiting orders. Captain sensors report enemy vessel. Okay, it's a stormbird down there. Engaging target. Let's take on that Saladin class. I think it's gonna win. And there's another Vengeance class back there, but I don't care about it. I'm gonna save my friend over here who is being chased. And that sensor sound is still there. That is going to bug me for a while. Enemy vessel detected. Reliant. Eh, whatever. By. Okay, and the rain is really picking up outside. Jeez. I don't think it's going to flood, though. I don't live on, like, the bottom of a hill. I'm on top of a hill. So it, it, it's all good. I'm just surprised. Okay. All those torpedoes hit. Nice. All right. Let's go get that vengeance class then. I'm gonna attack him with my one warp engine. I'm surprised that this thing is working this well with one warp engine. I mean, I guess uh, I don't expect why it wouldn't, because I mean, all you need is one. But uh, still, I mean, like part of the ship is actually missing and it's still performing just fine. I find that um, uh, amusing. And my weapons are recharging fast now, now that I've diverted the power to them. So, 
That's good. Okay. Torpedoes. There we go. Turning around for another pass. They might explode before then, actually, though. There is no escape for you. There we go. Okay, next target is the Stormbird once again. But it's taking on a Proxima class. And I think the Proxima class is definitely going to win that. Plus our three other guys are chasing him down, wherever they are. Where are you guys? Oh, there's one. And there they are. Wait, no, though, that isn't mine. That, that's friendly, but it's not mine. Mine are up there. Trying to get the, get the drop on them. Oh yeah, that Proxima class is having no issues. But I'm gonna help, because I'm a helpful person. Also, the Vengeance class has respawned, so that's another thing we have to deal with. On. Captain, enemy shields are down. We have a really solid lock. Okay, we've lost our Saladin class, turning with all ships toward the Vengeance class. I don't know if they have any more respawns. I have more respawns, though. But uh, their Stormbird does not respawn, so I'm guessing the answer to my question is no, they do not have any more respawns. Uh, my shields are down. I may explode. I'm going to explode. But I did get a whoa. I was able to shoot off a few torpedoes before I exploded, though, so that was nice. Is my sound in class here yet? No. Yeah, oh, kind of. A little. I think I'll be able to get a torpedo lock. Yes. Won't be able to hit it though. Okay, I think that we've won. Yes, I am victorious. Of course I'm victorious. Cool. Oh, that was like a perfect ending to it. Just started the warp out and then the scene cut. So, 11 kills for myself, only 4 losses. Did not even lose all my respawns. Uh, 3 kills for our allies, which isn't bad, but I did way better because I'm, I'm just better. And of course the um, enemy, the... Uh, Romulans lost everything, so that took just over 11 minutes for us to beat the Romulans. If you guys enjoyed this battle, if you guys enjoyed this video, please be sure to leave it a like, and if you are not subscribed, please subscribe if you want to see more. Uh, if you guys do not like this video, I do apologize for that. Please, please, please leave a comment in the comment section and tell me what it is I can do to improve the next videos that I make so that you guys can enjoy them. And as always, if you want to see any specific type of ship or battle scenario, also um, leave a comment in the comment section about that. I will read those. I will. And I will try to use those ideas in my future videos. So, yeah, as always, I am Foxtrot Delta, and I will see you next time.